two newspapers every eight minutes. Working together, how long is it going to take them to deliver 248 pages? Lane? Why don't you ask someone who's going to do it for a living? Because <laughs> I'm asking you, Lane. 31 minutes. All right. Correct. You'd be surprised how often you can reduce everyday activities to algebraic equations. Yeah, I find myself doing that all the time. <laughs> then you could do one for us now. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Not unless you come up with an equation. Well, <laughs> <laughs> If Mike can rip off an average of one car stereo per eight minutes, and he's got to deliver 10 car stereos to his fence, then uh, how long will the job take? Oh. Well, let the friend of Mike can spend some time jumping on the car. Oh, yeah. Are all the cars in the same lot, or what's the story on that? <laughs> okay, your uh, midterms are great. Pick them up and play out. Nice hat. Nice shirt. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I thought you said 
these guys from South Central are supposed to be tough. McQuaid's? Don't forget your bus pass this afternoon. Showtime, Wally. Myself in uh, summer camp, uh, July 75. What else we got, Wally, huh? Oh, hey, Dave. <laughs> hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What is wrong with you people? We're friendly. Hey, yo, Sawyer, come over here. We want to talk to you. What do you say we just forget about that? Well, do you guys want to be friends? Well, you know your way around. This place got a lot of potential for the right guys. If you want to do business in this school, just make sure it isn't mine. I'm beginning to like this guy. Has anything stolen turned up on these reports? No, that's the weird part, Anthony. As far as we can tell, none of this stuff made it to the street. Maybe this guy's a non-profit thief. Or he just doesn't know how to get rid of it. What we need is a way to force some of this merchandise out into the open. Wally, are we, uh, are we having fun? No. Huh? No. I can't hear you. No. Are you beginning to understand what I'm telling you? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. I got all day, Wally. Yeah. All day? Yeah. Huh? All right. All right? I give! You give? I give! <laughs> All right. Come on, man. There's 50 bucks there. So, Wally, today I get a little bonus. Come here. I tell you what. You've been a good boy today, Wally. A really good boy. Today, you skipped the wedgie. Beat it. What's Wally good for? Hey, he's my action, McQuaid. It's not like a little wussy work for this money. Hey, man, how's it going? Fine. You? Well, that's kind of why I, uh... I was, I wanted to ask you, can, can I, can I ask you something? Think you want to take that chance? I, I want to make you a business proposition. Uh, I'll pay you $25 a week to be my bodyguard and keep these guys from South Central off of me. Go away. Okay, 40 bucks. Okay, $75. Now, that, that is my allowance for the week. My dad owns a, a stereo store. I, I can get you stuff for free if you want. Come on, man. They don't leave me alone. I don't even do anything. You got a problem with your hearing? What was that all about? Nothing. Come on. Hey, Sawyer, why don't you leave the kid alone? Now, why don't you shut up, Wilder? You're going in next. Come on, Wally, you're going to like this. Move. Put him down. Eat it. You must want to see what the inside of your neck looks like. This doesn't concern you, McQuaid. Yeah, it does. Wally's our new friend. And for now on, we're shaking him down. Like hell you are. Tommy.
You know, you two are beginning to get on my nerves. telling you about. You know, I might just use this on you two guys. You want to get hurt or you want to make some money? What are you talking about? He's a little slow, but uh, he's cool. Harry converts merchandise into hard currency. Yeah? Yeah. Brand name electronics, laptop computers, even music or instruments can bring you 40 cents on the dollar if you're interested. What, like a tuba? And if any of you guys got any information, I got a buyer lined up for that Porsche that got ripped off the other night. What kind of terms? Let's say, um, 10% finder's fee. So, uh, Eric here gets, uh, what, 40 cents on a dollar for a Porsche that's worth, uh, 30 grand, so that's... That's, uh, it's, uh, $12,000. Right, and 10% of $12,000 is... It's, uh, $1,200. Very good. I give you an A. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I got just the guy who can help us. Good. What? No. No? Well, I thought it was funny. You think it was funny? I hey, you thought it was funny. I guess you got no sense of humor, huh, Walter? Huh? Huh? What? Come on. What are you doing? What, are you going to be a gym coach when you get older, Wall? I don't know! You whistled? Go away. I told you, Wally is ours. What is with you guys? I thought we were in business together here. We are. You see, we turn you on to our friend Harry. And in appreciation, you sign Wally over to us. Now, what if that's not all right with me? What if I want to keep Wally for myself? He rough you up. Payday, Wally. Oh, hey, no problem. We don't want money. We want lunch. Well, what are you guys doing? My dad's gonna go nuts. Don't worry, you'll put everything back. Look, I, I, I can't let you guys do this. Here. here we go. He's got a delivery today at 5 o'clock. A whole truckload of CD players. Come on, guys. You're, you're not going to rip off my dad's store. Wally, relax. The truth is, we're undercover police officers. Yeah, right. Has everyone been tipped off about the CDs? Get everything but announce it over the PA, coach. First time I ever saw Sawyer smile. Okay, let's go see who swallows the bait. Yeah, 
here. Yo. We just got a call to set up a meet with Aoki. Saw ya. You're wild. this place. Guy I know lives here. He doesn't drive. He lets me use the garage for storing stuff. I never really thought about selling the stuff till now. So why'd you steal it? It's money for college. I don't think I'm going to get a scholarship. So, what do you think I can get for it? Well, um, just off the top of my head, I would say three to five years. Starting to get this real bad feeling. Like Mr. Wilder's not gonna be satisfied grounding drill. It's not like we're out of our jurisdiction or anything, right? No, we're just visiting a friend. Right. And if Mr. Wilder's been beating on his son, we'll check him out the window. Yeah, there we might run into a few problems. Hey, hey, Drew, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Where's your father? In the house. Oh, I told him not to hit me. I told him a bunch of times, you know. We can always have the McQuaid's to hide behind. Yeah, well, you should be in a full body cast, bitch. Yeah, well, if that's the case, I might as well drop kick your face right here and now, get the whole thing over with, huh? Or we could call a little truce. Truce? You mean you'd stop coming after me and I get the McQuaid's lay off of you? Yeah, a truce. I figure you must have enough trouble just being the biggest dweeb in the entire school. So we got a deal? I don't think so. I kind of like the situation the way it is, you know? I'll let you know, okay? Hey, guys! Wally, we was looking for you. Yeah? I was thinking, you guys want to go see a movie or something? Sometime? Well, we got some bad news. We're moving again. The old man got another transfer. Transfer? Whoa, you, you can't leave. I, I, I'm sorry, but that, that just won't be possible. Well, we can't protect you for the rest of your life. You're going to learn how to take care of yourself. Come on. Be a man. We salute you. <laughs> 